Okay, there was in 2020, I believe, a couple videos I posted as a way I spoiled myself. What did Jen buy that she didn't need? And this video is one of those. I was like, ah, I, <laughs> I just, after, I'm just going to say I was selfish after giving away with the auction and just a bunch of stuff. I'm like, I'm going to spend a little bit of money on me. And you know, I have an obsession with certain accessories and I decided to help myself on that obsession. But before I open this box, now that I've teased you, I want to show you something else I have an obsession with that you guys may not know. I have an obsession with cups. Um, looky what I got. So this is a cup, absolutely beautiful. Um, I need to fill it with my water so that I'm actually branded now. I have my logo on here. It's got sparkle and bling, my favorite colors, which are copper and teal or aqua. Absolutely gorgeous. So excited. This is my new tumbler water cup for when I'm doing videos and when I'm drilling and watching videos here at my craft station. And where this came from is when I was in college, I... I'm a kind of a shopaholic. It's how purchasing things helps me feel better. And it's not a good thing to be a shopaholic because it's just like any other addiction. It doesn't last very long. You don't get a lot of gratitude. Um, I'm not materialistic. It's, I mean, I give things away. I just, it's the purchase part. There's just this high I feel. And I didn't have any money in college. And so I started buying cups and glasses and mugs and, and fun things. Um, but it all had to be a dollar or under. And this is before Dollar Tree became huge. Um, and when I moved out of college, I had over 80 cups, mugs, and glasses. And we're not talking about you know, the 12 pack, we're talking about individually handpicked different mugs with different sayings, different glasses, different sizes, and my husband just rolled his eyes. So we gave them all away, except for a couple. And so when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. It's from Extreme Designs, and it is the daughter of um, Nana, and so of Seven Crafts. And she does these all by hand, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Check her out on Facebook, Extreme Designs. And she's also on Instagram using um, at Extreme Designs, all one word. I'll put the, the link down below as well. Fabulous stuff. And she will do whatever you need her to do. And it's just gorgeous. So that was um, number one spoil. Number two was... <laughs> these and I can't believe I did it and as soon as I did it they go and make more and a better not better product a different style product and now I'm going to have to buy more so this is from Bella Art de Nicole and the reason I got the silver and the blue is because these were our wedding colors and it just makes me happy. And what I like about these sets, and now they have um, sets where the lids don't come off. They slide in and out. But I like how small these are so that if you are doing um, a confettied area, you can have three, you know, three colors at the different colors at the same time, have a lid, put these away come back they're great so these were similar to the colors of our wedding a little bit darker blue but you know they're absolutely gorgeous um here's the silver i have to wipe that off a little bit and now their kits i think come with a lid for the large as well instead of just using the smalls as a lid and then i loved this rose gold and so I got a rose gold. Now I have to find my packaging somewhere. I did get a rose a rose gold for a giveaway. So I have to figure out where that 
point. But these are absolutely beautiful. Um, so thank you so much, Bella Art to Nicole. Thank you, Jamie, her husband, for continually um, looking at their product. Um, it's thank you so, so much. Um, There are, I mean, you can tell it's hand done by the 3D printer because there are going to be some things on here that aren't perfect, but it doesn't take away from the functionality that you receive. So I just thought these colors were beautiful and they can sit over here and I'm going to enjoy using them. So that's how I spoiled myself. So check them out. I know they've got new and improved items. They spent most of Christmas break updating and I can't wait to see what they unfold as well. Um, so thank you, thank you so, so much. And uh, thank you for letting me show you what I spoiled myself with over Christmas. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. I'm going to go fill my water mug and uh, jump into some diamond painting. So bye-bye.